um, I feel uncomfortable when my husband talks about second wife. Should I feel bad and selfish? Hmm, this is an interesting question. Uh, you see, the way I look at this is that there should be an honest, and many of you may agree, disagree with me because you're women, right? But to be honest, if you can get that out in the open, then you know what your husband is thinking, number one, and it's good for you. Though it's very difficult for you to maybe deal with that in the beginning. But the main thing is that if you're going to shut it down completely and not even let him you know, speak about it, then what happens is, he has all of these ideas and if he can't voice them to you, he's going to voice them to others and may even be led into that. If you know what he's thinking about and you can have a frank discussion, you can protest all you want. You can say no, right? You have the right to do that. But to, to at least listen to it and to help him understand maybe or for you to understand your biases, I think that's a very healthy conversation. Having said that, that doesn't mean that men should be tormenting their wives, right? always with this or blackmailing their wives with this and bringing it up every second day. It's not a nice thing to do at all. Like you're talking about it every day. It's stupid. I mean, can you got nothing else to speak about in life, right? right? But I'm not talking to men today. I'm talking to women today, right? So if it is a discussion that you have once in a while because something happened outside and somebody else spoke about it, so he needs to come and vent his ideas or whatever, then I don't think a woman should. I know that's very difficult asking you to do that. I know it's very difficult asking you to do that. But I know couples who do this discussion, who've had this discussion, and they're a healthy couple generally because... It's, there's no taboo subject. There shouldn't be a taboo. It's a halal thing. So why should there be a taboo subject? Maybe you got it wrong. You know, like maybe your biases are too much. Because a lot of the time what I've noticed is that one of the reasons why women so feel so bad about it is because they feel that there's something wrong with them and that's why the husband is even thinking about that. But you must, I'll tell you like nearly 100% that that is not the reason for most cases. Meaning in the desires that people have. Men have a natural design. That's why Allah has allowed it. Men have a natural desire to want more than one, even if he's got the best one. And that second and third and even maybe a fourth will not be the best one and will be inferior is just something that is a, is a desire that men have. And if you don't talk about these things, men will go into pornography. Men will do a lot of these. They'll flirt at, at work and all of these kind of things. And you're wondering why all of these things are happening. I'm not blaming you for that. This is men and their taqwa should obviously govern these things. But a discussion, if your husband wants it, needs to be done in a decent way. And you can lay your parameters down and say, look, I don't want you bringing this up every day. It's, it's stupid to do that, right? Because that's torment. I don't find it easy to talk about it, but I'm willing to talk about it. Just so that we can go through these issues. Right? I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to maybe correct some of my ideas. It doesn't mean I have to agree right? to, to let you, but the, I, I, can, I can have that. So this is a very important discussion that needs to be had in the house. Because I guarantee you, there's so many men, when, you, when men, men speak, they have this. It's just the natural state in man and that's why, because it leads people generally to if, if a person doesn't have a way to deal with these issues because it will lead to flirtation, it will lead to harams and everything like that, right? Generally, what, what I'm trying to say is that despite the fact of how bad a, a wife, a, a woman feels of a husband even thinking of another, why did Allah allow it for the men to even do it? Didn't Allah think of the thoughts of women, her feelings of women? If he... If you look at just the feelings of women, how bad they feel, how Aisha radiallahu anha used to feel. And it's not, you're not abnormal for thinking that way. Meaning you're not abnormal for thinking bad of your husband having another wife. You're not abnormal. That's normal. That is normal. All right. What's abnormal is if you allow him to have another husband. You'd be very brave to do that. Right. So you're not abnormal. But despite that, despite that being such a norm and such a nature, why did Allah allow men to have three more than one. Four. Why? Because the danger in not allowing that is worse than the danger in the woman's feelings. Because the danger here is that he's going to commit zina if he's not allowed. And that's why you have so many husband and wives breaking up today. They find somebody else at work. They find somebody on Facebook. Wives of a husband. You know, it's, it's just getting really messed up. So conversation has to happen. Very important, of course, with, within reason though, right?